Okay. A trader bought some paraffin for dollar for five hundred. Miss, a question. Yes. हमने last question में उनको single fraction में express करने के लिए मजीद उनको midterm breaking के through factorize नहीं कर सकते थे. But they say to make it a single fraction. They don't say to simplify to the maximum. So we just make the simple fractions. So our question is done. Okay. Okay. So आपको कहीं simplify तो आपने simplest form में जाना है. But they said just make make it as a single fraction. So जहाँ single fraction आ गए इट्स ओके. Okay. A trader bought okay. some paraffin for dollar five hundred. And he said. पेज डॉलर एक्स फॉर ईच लीटर ऑफ पैराफिन सो एक लीटर पैराफिन के उसने डॉलर एक्स रुपीज दिए फाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द नंबर ऑफ लीटर थी बोट सो कितने नंबर ऑफ लीटर उसको मिलेंगे बिकॉज उसने फाइव हंड्रेड के लिए हैं और एक के लिए एक्स दिए हैं तो फाइव हंड्रेड बाय एक्स ड्यू टू आर लीक ही लॉस्ट थ्री लीटर्स ऑफ पैराफिन सो ही हैज लॉस्टेड थ्री लीटर्स ऑफ पैराफिन ही सोल्व द रिमेंडर ऑफ द पैराफिन फॉर डॉलर वन पर लीटर मोर देन ही पेड फॉर एट Write down an expression in terms of x that for the sum of money he received. Okay, so due to a leak, he lost three liters of paraffin. So, पहले उसके पास five hundred liters paraffin थे. अब leak के वजह से उसने कितने paraffin दोस्त के चले गए? तीन चले गए. तो बाकी कितने रह गए? Four ninety seven. Miss five hundred तो dollars है ना जो pay किए थे. A trader bought some paraffin. Four dollar five hundred yes. Due to leak, he lost three liters of paraffin. He paid okay. हम equal अभी जो expression बनाई है उसमें से three minus करेंगे five hundred over x minus three. Five hundred over x minus three. Because he lost three liters of paraffin, he sold the remainder of the paraffin for dollar one per liter more than he paid for it. Okay, so what will be the expression? Five hundred by x three liters of paraffin minus three plus he sold the remainder of the paraffins for dollar one per liter. So how many were the remainder paraffins? We'll solve this. We'll equalize the denominators. Or skip it. On the main day, paraffins were four ninety seven. Solve so getting a, but I'm just checking. Uh, due to the leak, he lost three liters of paraffin. So he paid dollar x for each liter of so one liter of paraffin. To have four dollar x guy. So three liters of paraffin would be three x hunga. So five hundred over x minus three x होगा. फिर he sold the remainder. अब जो बच गए हैं वो four ninety seven हैं और उनको one dollar का तो one one लिखना लिखो या ना लिखो इट्स ओके. So ये हमारी क्वेश्चन होगी. अब इसको सॉल्व करते हैं. So it would be x five hundred minus one x x three x cube plus four ninety seven x. So we just need to make the equation, or we need to solve. No, we just need to make the equation. So this is the equation. We say four ninety seven. How can it be? We have five hundred minus three minus three. Yes, we have uh, he bought. He a trader bought some paraffins for dollar five hundred, and one is for dollar x. So it means dollar five hundred. Hence, the total amount will be only dollar five hundred here, because he paid dollar x for each one. So therefore, we subtract three. You get three lost. Okay, okay. We subtract three and we get four ninety seven. Okay, he made a profit of dollar twenty. ये क्या है सी पार्ट? So if he make a profit of dollar twenty, so I think कि इनको आगे लिखना चाहिए था. Let me now find x, but they didn't write. Write down an equation. Huh. In x to represent the information and show that it reduces to three x square plus two into three x minus five into equal to zero. Okay, so now how much profit was that? So we get the equation was five hundred plus four ninety seven x 
minus 3x squared divided by x. This was the equation that we get. Write the equation in x represent in this information. So total was 500 and he get the profit of 20. So now let's solve this to see if we get this or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can write 500 plus 497x minus 3x squared divided by x is equal to 20 plus 500 would be? 0, 0, 0, 520 0, 0, 5, 520. So or next we can do minus 3x squared. This is the expression 500 plus 497x value. Over Okay, ये वाली अब जो total में आई है वो तो समझ आ गई है ना हम्म हम्म ठीक है वो मैं इन पे आपको दोबारा बताती हूँ minus five twenty x हो जाएगा ये x उधर जाके multiply हो जाएगा और वो इधर आएगा तो minus five twenty x हो जाएगा जो कि equal होगा zero के so अब हम we can write minus three x के अच्छा four ninety seven minus five twenty क्या होगा 520 minus 497. 520 minus 497. So it's going to be 23. Minus 23x plus 500 is equal to 0. So we have minus common. 23x square plus 23x minus 500 is equal to 0. So we are getting the same equation. It means we are doing correct. Okay, so now the last one I have to go back to explain you this one. Okay, so a trader bought some paraffins for dollar five hundred. He paid dollar x for each liter of. So for one liter of paraffins, he paid dollar x, so, and there are dollar five. Uh, total he paid dollar five hundred. So for one liter, he paid dollar x, and total was dollar five hundred. So it was five hundred over x the total payment. Yes, the total. This is what is this amount? 500 over x. 500 over, over, 500 over x is what? Then one liter. Amount paid for one liter. Yes. Okay. Now, due to leak, he lost three uh, liters of paraffin. So he lost three liters of paraffin, and one liter was for dollar x, so he lost three x. He sold yes. the remainder of the paraffins for dollar one per liter more than he paid for it. Right. He sold remainder of the paraffins for dollar one per liter more than he paid for it. So the remainder will be. So first of all, one liter of paraffins is five hundred over x. Subtract three three x liters of paraffin, which was lost due to the leak. Plus the remainder of the paraffins which were sold for dollar one per liter and remainder was four ninety seven. So by making this, we get the expression. Should I move on? Okay. Yes. Okay. So after getting this expression, we come to the next part and they say that the profit is equal to 20. So we make this equation and we find the equation that is equal to this equation. Now in the next part, they say solve the equation and get the value of x. Okay, so we are now going to solve this equation. So a is equal to 3, b is equal to 23, c is equal to minus 500. So it would be minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a okay solve this and tell me do the calculations Twenty three square. You should have a calculator in maths class. Twenty three square minus minus plus four times three times five hundred. So you will get six five two nine. And square root of six five two nine is eighty point eight zero. So I'm writing directly. 
माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस माइनस एट्टी पॉइंट एट डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स सो यू विल गेट टू आंसर्स पॉजिटिव वन इज नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स एंड द नेगेटिव वन इज माइनस सेवेंटीन पॉइंट थ्री ओके आफ्टर यू गेट द टू आंसर्स व्हाट इज लेफ्ट फाइंड कुरेक्ट टू द नियरेस्ट होल नंबर हाउ मेनी लिटर्स ऑफ पैराफिन ही सोल्ड so the value of x is 9.6 and the actual value was 500 by x so it should be 500 by 9.6 which is equal to 52.08 52.08 and he loses 3 liters So we can say fifty two minus three, which is equal to forty nine liters. Now I should write over here. This is part D. Got it, Maham? Yes. Okay. Coming to the next question, there are a few long questions. Okay. So x minus one. So it's going to be three x square. Minus two x plus three x minus two, which is equal to zero. Three x square plus six minus two, which is equal to zero. So three to the six, and you can write it as. Ah, uh, I think we need to go with the quadratic. A is equal to three. B is equal to one. C is equal to minus two. So I'm doing it over here. Okay. Minus b plus minus square root b square minus four a c divided by two a minus one plus minus one plus twenty four by six. So one plus twenty four is twenty five. Square root of twenty four five is five. So minus one plus minus five by six. Which will give you two answers for x. One is minus one, and one is two by three. Okay, four x minus y is equal to nine. Two x minus three y is equal to minus twenty three. So we need to multiply the second equation with two. So we will get four x minus three y is equal to minus forty six. So there would be four x cancel four x zero minus y minus three y is minus four y, and forty six minus nine will be thirty seven. That is minus thirty seven. So answer will be in decimals thirty seven by four. So I don't know why I'm not multiplying this. Two to the four x minus three to the six y is equal to three to the six two to the four minus what is six. So here it should be six. Minus six by minus one by minus seven by. So now you can calculate x. Four x minus five point two is equal to nine. Four x is equal to nine plus five. 
x is equal to thirteen by four and thirteen by four is equal to three point two. Okay. Five is equal to four into x plus one. Five is equal to four x plus four. Five minus four is equal to four x. One by four is equal to x. Okay. Tickets for a concert. Tickets for a concert were priced five, eight, and twelve. The number of five tickets sold was the twice the number of eight tickets. The number of 12 tickets sold was 80 more than the number of eight tickets. The number of eight tickets sold was X. Find an expression in terms of X, the total sum of the money received from the sale of the tickets. Okay, so the tickets for a concert was priced 5, 8, and 12. The number of dollar five tickets sold were the twice the number of dollar eight tickets. So what will be the expression? Five is equal to two into eight x. Two into eight x. The number of dollar five tickets. Two x. Two x. Sorry. Twice the number of dollar eight tickets. So what is x? So eight. Number of dollar tickets were sold x times so five two into x. So let dollar eight tickets is equal to x. So number of dollar five tickets sold was twice the number of dollar eight tickets sold. The number of dollar twelve tickets sold. Was 80 plus 80 x more than the number of dollar x dollar eight tickets sold the number of dollar eight tickets sold was x so find an expression in terms of x the total sum of the money so total sum of the money is five eight five or twelve okay i will add x plus okay Okay, question number 32. Diagram 1 shows the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. In which D, A is equal to A, B is equal to X and B, C, and C, D is equal to Y centimeters. A, B, C, and B, C, D is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, show that the area of this quadrilateral is X, Y square meters, square centimeters. So how to find the area of a quadrilateral? So finding the area of the quadrilateral, we can find the area of the both of the triangles. A, D, C and area of the triangle A, B, C. So because both of the triangles, both of the lengths are same, both of the lengths are same and angles are also same. So we can multiply the area by two. So area of area of A, B, C, D, which is equal to two times area of triangle a D C A D C right two times the area of triangle A D C okay so to how to find the area of the triangle one by two length into breadth what is the length length is x and what is the breadth breadth is y so area of the quadrilateral will be equal to x y okay, show date okay we are done with part a so part B, five of these quadrilaters are joined together to make the shape shown in diagram two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The total area of this shape is 80 centimeters square. Show that the outside parameter P centimeters of this shape is given by this. So outside parameter should be uh, this equation. Okay, so let's write it. The long lengths are or Y. So this is Y and this is Y, right? Yes. 
and but the shorter lens, these lens are all x. So this should be x, 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 x and x, 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 and x. Okay. Ten x plus two y. So it's ten x plus two y. That is the parameter. But the problem is. They are saying that the parameter should be in the form of x. So let's uh, five of these quadrilaters are joined together to make the shape. Okay, so uh, the area of the shape is 80. When five of these triangles join together, the area is 80. So for the one triangle, area is xy. So for five triangles, the area should be 5xy. So it means 5xy yes. should be equal to 80. So we can calculate y from here. y should be equal to 80 by 5x. So y should be equal to 5, 6, 30, 16 by x. Because in this equation, we need to write all the expression in the form of x. So we will put substitute y is equal to 16 by x. So we will get 10x oh. plus 32 by x. So in this way, we have completed our part B. Are you getting this? We yes, yes. Of the triangle is half length into breadth. So area of the quadrilateral is 2 multiplied by half into breadth. So we get x into y. So after we get x, y, our next step was here we get x, y. Our next step was that there, there are five triangles. So the total area of five triangles is 5x, y, so which is equal to 80. So we can get value of y from here. And after getting the value of y, we can put the value of y in the parameter so we can get this equation. Okay, so in the case when p is equal to 38, show that 5x square minus 19x plus 16 is equal to 0. So if the parameter is equal to 38, so this is the um, parameter that we calculated. The parameter we calculated was 10x plus 32. Plus 32 over x. But they are saying that this parameter is actually equal to 38. So this is part 2. Part 2, A part. Okay. So they are saying that it is actually equal to 38. Okay. So this would be multiply by x, multiply and multiply by x. You can do it like this. So we will get 10x square plus 32 divided by x, which is equal to 38. So it would be 10x square plus 32 is equal to 38x, 10x square plus 38x minus 32 is equal to 0. So we can take two common, 5 is the 10x square plus 2, 1 is the 2, 2, 9 is the 18x minus 2, 1 is the 2, 2, 6 is the 12 is equal to 0. So what was the equation they're saying? They were saying to make the equation 5x square minus 19x plus 16 is equal to 0. So why there is minus, it should be plus, yes. 5x square minus 19x, see we're doing a few mistakes. Okay. So. It's minus 38x and minus 19. So we get the required equation. The next part is to solve this equation to get the values of x. So 5x square minus 19x plus 16 is equal to 0. Use the quadratic formula. A is equal to 5. B is equal to minus 19. C is equal to 16. So minus B. And let's take B is equal to. Okay, minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So what we're going to get is plus 19 plus minus, okay. Square root of minus 19 square minus 4 into 5 into 16 so you will get minus 681 
19 square should be plus 19 square minus 4 into 5 into 16. Yes, you will get 41. So, square root of 41 will be 6.4 divided by 10. So, what you will get the values of x would be 2.54. Or 1.26. This will be the values of x. Now let's substitute these values to get the values of y. What was the equation of y? y is equal to 16 divided by x. So y is equal to 16 divided by x, which will be 16 by 2.54 or 16 by 1.26 and you will get the values of y as 6.3 12.7 yes got the same answer there is also a third part let's check that okay so the part says, calculate the value of P when X is equal to Y. So when X is equal to Y, the value of P would be the value of the parameter. When X is equal to Y means it should be 10X plus 2X means it should be 12X. And what is X? x is 2.54 2 so we will put it separately and we get two answers okay what is the special name given to the quadrilateral abcd when x is equal to okay this is interesting so what is the special name if all four sides are equal of a quadrilateral if all four sides are equal like this this is Wrong. It's a kite. All four sides are equal. Kite has two lengths greater and two lengths equal. So the answer to the last question is it would be rhombus. Anyways, this was a very interesting question. I liked it. Okay. So next is 3x minus 15 minus 2, which is equal to 7 minus 1 plus x. So 3x minus 17, which is equal to 6 plus x. 3x minus x is equal to 6 plus 17. 2x is equal to 23. So x is equal to 11.5. Two x square minus four to the eight x minus three x plus four to the twelve minus eighteen, which is equal to zero. So two x square the equation would be minus eight minus three would be nine ten eleven minus six is equal to zero. Okay. So twelve minus one is eleven. We can do the factorization. Two x square minus twelve x plus one x minus six is equal to zero. 2x, x minus 1, x minus 6. Okay, 35. Take the picture of question 35 and try it from home. This is a similar that we have done two questions today. Okay. Tell me after you have taken it. Yes, I have. Okay. 
do it uh, uh, you're on by and then we will do it tomorrow in the class okay okay two over x minus three minus one over x plus two okay multiplied by x plus two multiply by x plus two x minus three x minus three so two into x plus two minus x plus three divided by x minus three x plus two so two x plus four minus x plus three divided by x minus three x plus two two x minus x is x, x plus seven plus over seven. x plus two into x over two so you can see that we really don't need to multiply it and get a quadratic equation because we just get a single friction in our question says single friction, but it says in the simplest form. But even if we write a quadratic equation, there will be no simplest form. This is already the simplest form. All of the them are in the linear equations. Okay. Okay, solve. 4, 3 is a 12, which is equal to x minus 1 x plus 3 so it should be 12 is equal to x square plus 3x minus x minus 3 12 is equal to x square plus 2x minus 3 so 0 is equal to x square plus 2x minus 3 minus 12 0 is equal to x square plus 2x minus 15 so it's 5 3 is a 15 Okay, done. Okay, so okay, so Andy has two s book, two x books. Bill has four more books than Andy. Are uh, am I audible? Yes, yes. Okay. So Andy has two X books, Bill has four more books than Andy. Coral has half as many books as Bill. So the first part says, write down an expression in the terms of X for the number of books that Coral has. So what will be the expression in the terms of X? Two X plus four divided by two. Because Andy has two X books. And Bill has four books more than Andy. The number of books that Coral has. Coral has half as many books as Bill. So first of all, Bill, how many books Bill has? 2x plus 4. 2x plus 4. And Coral will has 2x okay. plus 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2x plus 2 divided by 2. 2 and 2 cancel, so we will get x plus 2. The total number of books is 121. Find the number of books that Bill has. So what will what is going to happen? Total number of books. Andy has 2x books. We'll add them and put them equal to 121. What to add? Andy mm -hmm. has 2x books. Bill has 4 2x more plus 4. 2x plus 4. Coral have x plus 2 books. X plus 2. Which is total equal to 121. So 2, 3, 4, 5x plus 6, which is equal to 121. 5x is equal to 121 minus 6. 5x is equal to 
115 x is equal to 5 2 is 10 11 5 3 is 15 so andy has two x books bill has four more books than andy two x plus four and coral has half the x plus two two four five six four six okay so x is equal to 23 got it should i move on yes okay simultaneous equations okay 2x minus 3y is equal to 15 3x minus 7y is equal to 27 and half so what we're going to do is multiply the first one with 3 multiply the second one with 2 so it's going to be 6x minus 9y which is equal to 15 times 3 45 45 6x minus 14y, which is equal to 27.5, multiply by 2, which is 55. So, subtracting 5y, which is equal to 0, 5 and minus 4, 1, y is equal to minus 2. So, we get the value of y. So, let's find the value of x, 2x minus 3 y is equal to 15, 2x plus 6 is equal to 15, 2x is equal to 15 minus 6, 2x is equal to 9, so x is equal to 9 by 2. Okay, solve the equation, 5t square is equal to 12t. So 5t square is equal to 12t. So we have 5t is equal to 12t divided by t. So t is equal to 12 by 5. Part b. Okay y minus 1 divided by 8 is equal to 2 by y minus 1. So it's y minus 1 whole square, which is equal to 8 times 2 is 16. So it's a square minus b square plus 2ab, which is equal to 16. y square plus 2y minus 1 minus 16 is equal to 0. But while we are opening this, can we do it another way? We can just take the square root on both sides. That would be more easy. Yes, we'll have 4 then. We will get the 4 then. So what answers will you get? It's getting stuck. We we'll get four. You will get take square root of four on both sides, and then y minus four whole square is equal to square root of four plus minus sixteen, and then you will solve it with plus and sixteen both. So this is not what we're going to do. This is, so it's going to be y minus 1 is equal to plus minus 4. y is equal to 4 plus 1. y is equal to 5. y is equal to minus 4 minus 1. y is equal to minus 1. So we got two values of y.
Yes, done. Hello, the next question is the diagram shows the design of a company symbol. It consists of three circles. The smallest circle has center over and radius 2x centimeters. So there is a circle and it, it is basically three circles all together. So the smallest circle has center over and radius 2x centimeters. So this one has radius 2x centimeter. The largest circle has center over and radius 2y centimeter. The largest one has 2y centimeters. The third circle touches both the other centers as shown. The three regions are formed as colored red, yellow, and green. Explain fully why the radius of the third circle is equal to x plus y centimeters. Okay. So now, first of all, we have to calculate radius of third circle. So okay. we will add the what radius. Uh, the radius of the smallest circle is 2x. And the radius, uh, let's say, let's, this is O, the center of the circle. This is the coordinate of the circle. Let's suppose this is A, this is B, and this is C, and this is D. So now we can just easily find out the radius of the circle of the smallest one is like from here to here. We have to find the circle, which circle? The third circle touches both the other two circles. We have to find the, the radius of the third circle that is from which point to which point? From A to C. From A to C is the diameter of the third circle, right? This is the third circle. Yes. A to C, mm -hmm. so let's first work for the diameters. Then we will divide by 2 at the end. Okay, diameter of third circle A, C. The diameter of third circle is A, C. So A, C is equal to the diameter of the smallest circle A, B plus B, C. Right? The diameter is equal to this. Mm. Okay. So now, what is BC? BC is equal to OB. OC minus BC, OB. Because we don't have BC. So we can write AB plus OC minus OB. Getting till here, we have to find AC. AC is the diameter of the third circle. So AC we can write AB plus BC. Yes, we can write it. But BC ki yeah. value we don't have. So we can write BC as OC. Ye OC minus OB. So now we have the yeah. values. What is AB? AB is the radius of the smallest circle. So AB diameter here. So what will happen? 2x multiplied 4X. by 2. 4x. Ho so it's 4x. Plus, what is OC? Uh, the largest circle is radius O in 2y centimeters. OC. Our uh, radius is larger circles. My plus O B B C Why 2y. Minus. And OB is 2x. BC is our part. So, this is our part. Let me erase all this. Possible. BC is our part. It has told us the smallest circle and largest circle ka radius. Hai. So BC yeah. is lying in between. It is neither smallest, neither largest. So it doesn't have us. Because A, O, B was lying over here. So BC. So the B one we don't have. Okay? Yes. Can I tell you again? We have to find AC, the third circle. So AC is equal to AB plus BC. But we don't know what is BC. So we write BC as OC because OC is the radius of the biggest circle. 
and OB is the radius of the smallest circle. So we get OC minus OB. So now this is the equation that we get. Okay, okay. So now what is the final equation that we will get? Final equation that we are going to get is 2x plus 2y. Taking 2 common, we will get x plus y. Dividing by 2, we will get x plus y. Why we are dividing by 2? Because we need to calculate radius. Radius. And current, uh, previously, we were working on diameter. So we have satisfied the question number 1 that the radius of the third circle is x plus y centimeter. Now the part B is... Write down in terms of pi x and y expression for the area of the region that is colored yellow green. So which one is yellow? This is yellow. The white one. Okay. So this is yellow. So we have to find the area of the region. So area of the circle is pi r square. Yes. So what is the radius of the yellow circle? Why? No, yellow circle. Radius of the yellow circle is x plus y. That we just calculated. Wasn't that of that bigger circle? The red circle is the smallest one, and that is given that the smallest circle is 2x. The biggest one is green. The biggest circle is 2y. The third one we have to find yellow okay. one, and yellow one is x plus y. So, it means we have the radius is a, of the yellow one is radius for yellow. It's x plus y. So, now we want to work for uh, area of the circle. So, area is pi r square. Pi into x plus y square. Pi into x plus y whole square. Why can't I get down? So it was pi into x plus y whole square. So this is the area for the yellow circle. So they were saying to write the air, find the area of the region colored yellow. Okay, so it's x plus y whole square for part B, part 1. Now the part 2 says find the area for the green region. So what was for the green region? For the green region, it was the largest one. So it's 2y. The green region is 2y. Yes. So it's going to be pi 2y. 2y whole square. Okay. So now the part C. What are they saying for the part C? The area of the green region is twice the area of the yellow region. Use this information to write down an equation involving x and y. Show that it simplifies to this. Okay, so area of the green region is twice the area of the yellow region. So you just need to put twice. Area of the green region is this. Area of the yellow region is this. So pi 2y whole square, which is equal to twice the pi x plus y whole square. And we can just simplify this. The d1 is... Factorize y square minus 6xy plus 5y square. 
making y the subject so it was simple factorization and it will give us y minus x y minus 5x calculate the fraction of the design that is colored yellow so the yellow one has area yellow one has area pi to y whole square and we need the fraction that is colored yellow so we get the value of y from here y is equal to 5x so we can put the value of y over here for part e pi to 5x whole square so it's going to be 10x to 10 10 the 100 x square pi by just putting the value. How did we get this 5x? By solving this one, the d part. Okay, okay. Solve the equation, this express y in terms of x by solving this one. Okay, the next is a simultaneous equation. So we can just do uh, subtract it over here, minus, minus, minus. So it would be canceled. We will get 3x minus 1x is 2x, which is equal to 95 minus 29. 66. x is equal to 33. So we can write 33 plus y is equal to 29. 33 minus 29 is equal to y. So 33 minus 29 is equal to 4. y is equal to 4. Factorize 3tx minus 2xy plus 15tx But in this way, we are not getting the common. So we should do it in the likewise other way. Miss X, Pele Valim bracket may X plus five any another. Pele Valley bracket may. Okay, it was 3 S key which I not 3ds. Okay, okay. So it was 3tx minus okay x here. So 3t we are running out of time. 3t x plus 5 by now it's correct. So x plus 5 by 3t minus 2s. Okay. The next one is solve the equation B part. Solve the equation B part. 